Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy at the Mermaid Cove. And uh, yeah, it's been a good Sunday. I, um, my friend and I went, we did a little shopping. So I have a couple hauls coming up and we had lunch. I got Red Robin, took it back and hung out for a while. And then I went to the food bank and had my whole car loaded up, dropped all that off and went to a grocery store. It was a long day. It's been long, but um, I just wanted to hop on and um go through this stuff get it put away just try to be on task right do it in real time but I, i'm not getting any like frozen stuff really um trying to eat out my refrigerator my freezer um let's start with some refrigerated stuff so i've been having a little iced coffee so i got this um and it is normally like 485 and I got it for 449 so not a lot of difference but this is a bunch of iced coffee so if you think I pay two to 280 or three dollars for an iced coffee it's gonna bring me a lot of iced coffee that's a good deal and then um I got some more oat creamer but this one is just called on um, the sweet oat latte so it's not the cinnamon or the vanilla so I thought I'd try it Again, it was four seventy nine, um, seventy nine cents off, so four dollars. Seems you know. Haven't been to Trader Joe's lately to get my good stuff, but I will. And I want to make this sheet pan lo mein. Um, one of the things I needed to get I didn't have was lo mein noodles. So I got egg noodles. So I got this for two. Um, I think it was about two forty nine on sale for two dollars. So yeah, I'm not sure. But you, you make it and then you put it on the tray with all the vegetables. And this one was a different one. Blue Dragon Cantonese egg noodles. So I'm not sure. These were a little more expensive. These were $4.49. So I have these two to try things with. And let's see. I got some salad for a couple days. This is on sale for $3.49. cents off two fifty dollars this Bright Farms, this came from Hendersonville, North Carolina. So they're raised locally within, you know, a, a state. So it tells you where it comes from. What's really cool, this one doesn't have it. Some of them have like a, a plastic thing that goes on it and you can take it off and re reposition it so you don't have to, um, so it keeps everything fresh. Starting to do more art and I need some baby wipes. Mine are all dried out. I've been spraying them, but you know, these were $1.79 right there always my baby doesn't matter I just don't I just want them unscented so I feel like these hmm yeah unscented so those will go down in the studio okay guys so these are the bowls I use for my cat for her food and I'm trying to I've been it's just yeah the other way just doesn't work for me anyway we call them molly bowls because my mom called them that but they're 435 so expensive i think before the pandemic they were 279 or something now they're 445 and you can't even get them i haven't been able to get forever so i got one two three even when i was at the store the sign said out of stock so it probably said that on the computer but anyway that's why i kind of wanted to go in and just double check stuff instead of picking it up so this cathedral vintage cheddar cheese is a lot like the unexpected. It's so good, but it was it's five ninety nine had a dollar off, so it's four ninety nine on sale. So I thought that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Love this with some crackers. This is one of my favorite things, and I haven't had it for a while. Um, and I I got I broke into it like a crazy person. So these are these craft singles, and I got um the sharp cheddar. I wonder how long these things last December anyway sometimes I like to have a piece of bread put this on it a little bit of raspberry jam and an egg so I got some of that uh, and that was uh, not on sale that was like 479 not on sale also it was the bon maman raspberry preserves so this was 589 what I think I'll do is when I'm getting closer you know down here I'll start looking for it cheaper but I love this stuff and I was literally out. So I'm like a little orange juice though, not, um, you know, for breakfast, just a taste. So I get my good stuff. So this is good to October. It was 2.15. This reminds me of Angela. This one, Angela always loved these little things of orange juice. Such an Angela thing. 
Um, let's see, I got bananas. And they were um, $1.38. Um, so it's $2.42 pound at $2.99 pound. So I still think Trader Joe's is cheaper. I didn't get organic because doesn't seem you don't need organic ones, right? I got do not. Thank you. What happens? I drop things like this and they go everywhere. But this was you got five to get them for two eighty eight. So I got strawberries and um, these are blueberries. So I'm gonna have a little bit of that. I want to make some blueberry muffins. But these driscolls aren't good. I have I what I did is I put a little bit of gram uh, cause these. A little bit of sugar, just to eat them singly. They were not good. I've had worse luck with strawberries. This is Sargento off the block Cheddar Jack. I love these. I'm lazy about shredding, so if I'm making a big recipe, I'll shred. But otherwise, this is four twenty nine dollars seventy off to two fifty. So I try not to pay more than two fifty. There's always one of them on sale. And this I buy a lot. Um, the Lido Pizza. Pizza sauce is my favorite for pizza, for spaghetti, for whatever. I want to make stuffed shells. So seven nineteen. That two is like for the pandemic five ninety nine. You always find it on sale. Now it's seven nineteen. Never on sale. And I can't remember if you. I was talking about making brownies and they looked off. So I think the oil was off. Um, but I got this Weston canola oil. It says pure. I don't know what that means. I tried to find this other kind, but it's like a spectrum oil, but they, it was not there. So I'm going to try to look again, but for now, um, I made a uh, banana bread for work tomorrow with one of those Trader Joe's mixes. Y'all love these things, the outsh outshine. So they were 515. I think they were 599 still for 515 tangerine. Next time I'm going to get the ones that are the smaller ones, because sometimes that's all I need, but they're good. Now, I'm always looking for my coffee on sale. This was such a deal. So it's the it's the um, Randa blend, ten ninety nine. Y'all not paying ten ninety nine for this crazy. So it had three dollars off, and then I had a personal dollar coupon off, so six ninety nine. I guess I could have gotten another one for seven ninety nine, but and the Dunkin' Donuts was seven ninety nine. Again, normally ten ninety nine. $9.19, um, no, it was the same, $7.99 off, $6.99. So those are good deals. I'm just looking for that kind of thing. So I'm moving to having a little bit of iced coffee, so they'll last me quite a while. And these are my show shields, y'all. These are my favorite. I'm almost down to, normally I buy two, but I'm trying to break that habit. So this is um, $5.19. Don't care, I'm going to buy them. They're so good. But I'm almost, like that much left on my other bag. What else do I have? I got a chicken, which was $8.99. And I want to do, um, I'm going to do half for, um, like throwing on salad. And the other half, I'm going to put a little barbecue sauce to make quesadillas with. Now, I got two. This is a spend, spendrift. Sparkling, I don't know if this one's, yeah. Sparkling water, real squeezed fruit, half tea, half lemon. Let me see if I have a cold one. Okay, I do. So, Spinger is not my favorite, but these were, I don't have them written. They were $6.49 on sale for $4.99. Real squeeze fruit. Hmm. It's different. It's very lemony. You get a hint of tea, but I'm not sure I want sparkling tea. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna finish it, but I'm not sure I would buy them again. Um, let me get, excuse me. 
they had my good grapes and they were um, seven twenty four. I don't know how much they were a pound, but I got a lot. Those are my favorite. I'll be eating on those, my snacks this week. And I think that's it. Yeah. Cost more than, you know, like a, you know, under a hundred, I guess, but no meat. It's crazy. Nothing really frozen. I have enough fruit for right now to eat up for my smoothies and I have some spinach to use up and I'm just going to go and buy spinach and lettuce as I need it. Because if I buy too much, I don't eat it and throw it out and it's such a waste. So that's kind of what I'm heading towards right now. I'm going to buy one like that to add to salads because salads are so good right now. Seems to be the only thing I truly want to eat. But yeah, so I think um, I'm off. Let's see, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm off Friday, Saturday, and then I work Sunday and I'm off Monday. So I'm thinking on Friday, I'm going to do um, that chow mein stir fry. So it's just a bunch of vegetables. You cook the chow mein, you throw it in there. So we'll see. It sounded kind of good. Something different anyway. But And then I'll plot up something new after that. So I'm trying not to even buy enough for three, just one new recipe at a time. Because I just, I end up not using it. I don't want to do that anymore. So one at a time. Yeah, so how are you guys doing? The food prices are, I don't know if they're stabilizing or what, but it just seems nuts to me. So, um, yeah. But maybe tomorrow I'll try a little beet bite of my um, banana bread for you. We'll see. I just felt like, you know, Monday morning's nice to have something, you know, comforting, homemade-ish. It's from the Trader Joe's box, but... I add a little bit of stuff here and there to make it my own. But anyway, guys, I do take care. And um, yeah, what's your, anything I try that you're like, yeah, that's a good deal or um, something you get all the time that I might have at my grocery store. It's Giant, which is in Maryland, East Coast, I guess. We don't have a Publix or Kroger's or any of those. Um, yeah, Giant, Safeway, Harris Teeter, Wegmans. Wegmans is expensive. I don't like to go in there. It's just too expensive, but... All right, guys, bon appetit, and I will see you again.